Welcome to Gail's Garden. Herbs and more. I'm still here. <laughs> okay. Isn't that beautiful? That is chicory root flowers. Chicory flowers. Most people just concentrate on the roots. But I mean, look at that. That's beautiful. Um, nobody ever talks about the chicory flowers much. So I... Um, everybody concentrates on the root, but the root is so beneficial, it's really good for you. Maybe the flowers are too. I don't know, but I'm going to try to make some tea out of them and maybe dry some. And just the color is beautiful. I bet if you wanted to make a vinegar or something else, it would probably make it a really pretty color. I'm anxious to see what the tea color looks like. Okay, I cut up some slices of apple in it too, but um, aren't those pretty? dahlias anyway um if you can see we don't have electricity so i've got to electrics out and they don't know why they say um i put the flowers in there but after sitting for a couple minutes in the hot water the blue disappears and they're almost translucent um and then i put the the apples in it too to get because i tasted a little bit of it hmm. there's a slight flavor not a lot i only put maybe just a small handful of the flowers in there so maybe I should have put more flowers but anyway I did put some little apple thin apple slices in it and I'll let it sit a while longer and steep well I haven't moved my trailer yet but I'm kind of playing with it and this is what you see when you first walk in I'll probably change a lot I'm just even in the middle of packing and things aren't how I'm gonna put them exactly and but I thought I'd come in here for a minute. And I had brought in, I'm just drinking some water. Now this, here we go, is our chicory flower and apple. I'm going to pour that into here. Should have brought a strainer with me, but that's okay if a little bit gets in here. I, I'm going to add this to the water because chicory root is known to be a little bit diuretic. It makes you pee a lot. I don't need that. I don't have that problem. I probably don't have that problem because of all the herbs I drink. And it seems like the majority of them, two-thirds of them at least, it seems like, um, make you go pee. <laughs> and I don't need to. So, um, but I still need all the other stuff in the herbs. So, I'm going to add it to my water because you need to drink a lot more water if you're going to pee a lot. At least I'm getting poisons and stuff out of my system anyway, huh? Sorry about all that stuff. Um, I'm just sticking stuff underneath the table, um, hoping that it underneath there it'll be held somewhat, and when they're moving the trailer, it won't go, you know, and all over the place. But it probably will. <laughs> I have so much, so far to go, but I'm kind of stuck because they're not, nothing's getting done up the hill. So anyway, um, that's what I'm gonna do with that. Okay, I've been pouring it, but I guess I can show you me pouring it now there probably won't be a whole lot of flavor because it's mostly water but I should get any good benefits from it anyway <laughs> well I still got a little left over let me try drinking it out of that hmm Wow. <laughs> now that is totally different. I am just tasting all kinds of different stuff lately I've been doing with you. Um, <laughs> interesting flavors. Mm. Finish that leftover of that. Now that straight is very mild, so I probably won't even taste it. Let's see what this tastes like. Actually, it just makes my water taste really good. There's really not too much of a flavor in the water. Um, the flavors lately of stuff I'm tasting is not bad. It's just totally different flavors that I don't even know how to explain, but they're good. But then I am used to, I have really been training my taste buds over the last several years into the herbal field. So I like the different natural wild flavors, but there are some things I just don't like, like horseradish. Um, 
I didn't used to like beets because the only beets I'd had was from the store or beets that my grandma had pickled or something. And I just, I don't know where she, if she grew them or what, I don't know, but I didn't like them when I was a kid. I never did like beets until I tasted my, well, actually I had, was ordering from, I used to order, I haven't been because they got really expensive from a group of organic farmers in this area. We had a little co-op thing and, um, they were fresh grown beets and they were wonderful. They just came in a box of stuff. So I tried them and wow, it was so good. And then I started growing some of my own and I like them. They're just very different than store-bought. I still, and I've tried store-bought one in the winter when I ran out of mine and I still didn't like the store-bought, but mine are good. So sometimes you can kind of train it towards something, your taste buds. And other times you just don't like it. Like I just don't like store-bought beets. <laughs> But anyway, this is uh, chicory flour and some apple pieces. The chicory flour was very, very mild flavored by itself. Not a lot of flavor. Um, but when I added the apples, it kind of melded together and made a very interesting good flavor on its own. And then when I added it to all of that water that I had, it just makes my water taste even better because this water is from my um, Berkey water filter and it filters out everything. And there's the, f the flavor of the water is kind of, I'm sorry, but to me, it's kind of bland. There's not a lot. It's not as bad as distilled water, trying to drink distilled water, I don't guess, but it's kind of reminds me of that in a way. But I don't know, but when I added this, it, it really made it taste like a really fresh, vibrant spring water again or something. Um, very interesting. I, maybe I'll just use my chicory flowers to flavor my water. I don't know. But anyway, just some thoughts and ideas. And um, hope you all enjoyed this. And give me a thumbs up if you would. And we'll catch y'all with something different. And I hope interesting to you next time as well.